Here's our goodies. Here's our button. Here's our pesciente. She's decided to prolapse her vagina. She's not happy about it. Cubby. Cubby. Why are you so angry? I've lost my vagina. We found it. We'll put it back. She might be happy after we do that. We'll find out one way or the other. Poor little old bull chook. She's definitely got that I want a freight train you look about her. Here, I'll give you this if you want. I'll, I'll see if I can go get knocked down. Pity that's a dog. It's a dog. Smile. It's the important part. <laughs> Smile. What do you have to say on the matter, Heidi? Uh, Opinions. <laughs> She's like, I have done. Thoughts, questions, concerns, anything. We're happy to hear it. Input. She's like, hello. <laughs> I am just cute. She's not very engaged to that. <laughs> She's just having a dog. the comment I'm confirming on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's give her a um, epidural, guys. Can you draw me up five mils of Nick King? It's a master in process. Okay, is there in? 
fine. Five mils lubricant instead. Do you with the needle on? Yep. Well, I'll show you a trick. So they teach you the hanging drop menu, yeah. but you're riding on the dirt and the dust, so it's not a very good idea. No. You just put in a little bit of air. Oh, and then you check for negative pressure. Well, so if, the, if, the, if the mill of air compresses, you're in the right spot. If it doesn't compress, you're not in the right spot. If you're not, if you're like stuck into the tissue, that the mill of air as you push it down will compress. Yeah. If it doesn't compress, then blah, 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 you're in the right spot. Pretty rad, eh? Um, Dave Van Wien helped me. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, I can try to push this back here. Now that I've given a good wash. Achieving them. Yeah. Yeah. So, like if you go to, what do you do? You hold your breath, don't you? Mm. <laughs> so every time a cow pushes, she holds her breath. So if you, she can't hold her breath, she can't push. It's kind of a crazy idea. Have you ever done it? No, nah, but it's a cool idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> label but some guys will mix a little bit of methyl with their epidural provides longer desensitization and I should have grabbed the thing of lube mm. I'm gonna go get you some uh, I reckon by the time you get it I'll have it back in bit of lucky spit Ooh, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> that look really wrong. <laughs> Enoch the cow vet spits all over a cow's vagina. Nation's disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I got little kids, I go, hey, put your finger there. You can feel the calf. And it's little kids, and then I go, doosh, doosh, doosh. They go, oh! But yeah, so that button, what it does, you come through the vaginal wall, and it spears up through here. It's pretty cool. It works pretty good. I reckon now that that's just so horrible, it, it might stay in. But the thing about putting new in the first string around the vagina is that um, if she really pushes, she'll rip the threads out. Yeah. Button. I know I've used the button before and they're pretty successful. And you guys haven't seen a button and you're Jones in to see a button, aren't you? Yeah. Give us the button. <laughs> Give us the button. Give us the button. Let's go, Brent. Listen to the Let's people. Go, Brent. <laughs> oh, that's. You guys know the Let's Go, Brandon story? No. Oh, that's pretty hilarious, actually. Whether or not you're a Biden supporter or not, but there is a. There's this, um, there's this guy, race car driver named Brandon, and this lady was interviewing him, and the crowd's going, fuck Biden, go fuck Biden. And the lady's like, what are they saying? Let's go Brandon, because the guy's name's Brandon. <laughs> and it's just gone absolutely viral. <laughs> Freaking absolutely piss funny. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and I was like, shirts are all over America that say, let's go Brandon. <laughs> spots on her vagina where it, where it feels pretty good because we don't want to spear that, that um, spear this button through, uh, like the through, through nasty bits okay so oh, um when you got a bucket of water and you want to keep it kind of clean and you're kind of dirty like i am here's kind of a trick you can do you just pull the pull the water out of the bucket and give yourself a bit of clean up. rather than sticking your hands in there and getting it all dirty Splash zone. So, check out this button, it's pretty rad. So we need another thing of lignocaine. You should be able to hook that bottle, that syringe, straight to into the without the needle. That way you can use that same needle again. Just hook the syringe straight on. Yep, awesome. This is the 
drawer of that product repair kit. Made in Loveland, Colorado. <coughs> I went to school in Colorado. And I'm a, I'm a distributor for these guys. Yeah, right. One of my side gigs. I'm the king of side hustle. That <laughs> goes into there. How much do you want? Five again? Yeah, right about good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into your vagina like this, we're guarding this, and I'm gonna take and spear it through the wall of the vagina. I'm gonna push it up, and it's gonna make it, it's gonna tend up the skin. You'll see the skin tend up. And then I'm gonna stop, and we're gonna put some lignocaine where it pen tented, and then we're gonna take a scalpel and cut through the skin. And then we're gonna pull this trocar out, and we're gonna put that button in there. And put that carp in there, it's gonna keep the whole vagina. Is that red or is that red? <laughs> when do you take it out? It is red. I ain't taking it out, this guy's taking it out. Uh, probably in a couple weeks. Insert six inch stroke card through three inch bolt plus, simple product, remove the stainless pin, stone tube, blah, 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 insert the cutter pin, in severe cases, you can do on both sides, cut it off, it's done to avoid injury, the button is left in place until calving is taken place, and a normal unassisted delivery should be expected. So these they can cab around them. This girl's already calved, but. Alright, love. Okay, so let's get this cracked. You got that stuff? Yep. Give you these for me in a minute. Um, you got the scalpel blade in your pocket? Yeah. We're not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> so when I go in there, I kind of. I just pick my hand and guard the point of that so I don't. So I don't. Uh... Can you see from where you're at? Pretty good, buddy. Have you seen aliens? You know the movie Aliens when they're having, when they're sitting around at dinner? You know the classic scene from Aliens? Have you seen Aliens? Or are you kids way too young? Mate, you at least know what I'm talking about. So it's like the best scene in the movie. So, like they're all sitting there having dinner. They think everything's cool. They've been down to the, the island. The old knight had the thing suctioned to his face and then it fell off. And everyone's like, oh no, it's all cool now. And they're all having dinner. And an old knight starts spitting up blood. And then the alien tears out of his chest at dinner. So the bloody director shot that scene without telling anyone that that was going to happen. Did they? Yeah. So all those actors are like, what the? F <laughs> Which is pretty good. Now I've got to get this truck car out of there. Do you got a set of pliers on you? Close at hand? Inside drivers? that box there? Oh, yeah, oh the needle drivers. Drivers. So I've got smarter people than us here, Kim. <laughs> these are pretty good for a uh, man. Great job. All right. Now these, well, let's take the little, you got the cutter pin there. You don't want to put them on too 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 tight because they'll get a bit of swelling and it'll necrose through the lining of the of the vagina. Wow, I've never seen one of those. Yeah, it's very cold. It is pretty cold. Yeah. And now her uterus won't pull her she just can't pull her uterus out. So we'll give her some antibiotics, some meloxicam. And so if it was a really bad one. They reckon you can put two of them on. Yeah. What would, how bad would that have to be? Like, how do you decide that? Now, um, I had one that came out, and what had happened is she took her tail, flicked it up, and ripped her cotter pin out. Oh, okay. So the other thing I do is I cut their tail off. And so when I came back, like I was like, how in the hell did that come out? And um, we... Um, so if they had like a uterine prolapse, would and you And when I went to do it, and I grabbed her tail, I found the cotter pin in her tail. If 
if they had a uterine prolapse, would you use two then? Oh, well, uterine prolapse, I don't use them you at all. You don't use them at all? Uterine prolapse, I just replace it, make yeah. sure it's completely inverted. Uh, some people put the, the buner stitch in, I don't. I, I reckon if you get it completely inverted, oh. you should be, right, should be right. Do you then just use like fill it with fluid to... Sometimes, yeah. but I normally like a wine bottle or, or any sort of bottle, like a beer bottle. Yeah. I'm not going to drink more beer than wine. <laughs> That'll extend your arm. Yeah, just... And then the other thing I'll do is I'll grab the cervix mm. and, and I'll shake it. What that'll do is you imagine it's like an inside out sock. You know, you take your socks off and you flick it mm. to get the toe out. So I do that. I grab the cervix. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's um, throw up. Um, uh, what's that? They'll get infected. They'll get infected, but yeah. we'll get her antibiotics. We'll pull it out. She'll write. It's retroperitoneal. So it'll, yeah. be, it'll be fine. I've never had any issues with these. Um, so we'll give her 50 mils of alamycin, intramuscular, and it's two and a half mils per hundred of the meloxicam. So we're going to call it an meloxicam, my friends. And then we'll have some beers somewhere. Somehow, some way. It's not right. Cheers, that's it. Ta da! So you got to introduce yourself to find vet students. Oh, and you got to all ask one question. Because we got, now we've got vet students. So you got, all got to think of a question. I know you've asked some already, but questions, 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 questions. Hey, Georges, what's question? your question? Um, I believe Shona hasn't asked a question. Oh, a question. So, would you change anything that you're doing if she was in calf? Um, I'd say she's gonna calf. Keep an eye on it, and we'd leave that in there till after she till she calved, yeah, and then we okay. pull it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that, that's the beauty of these. They can calve around them. Versus yeah. the old beginner stitches, you just have to wait. Yeah. And, and then, then and then let it cut them. Otherwise, they really tear stuff out when the calf yeah. comes. Good question. Good question. And generally, on these, they are. Um, most of these are pretty calving. Yeah. Are they expensive? Put up on the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they're only like, they're only like 10 or 15 yeah. bucks. They're pretty yeah. cheap. Yeah. Because I'm selling them. Uh, do you have any more? And... Now we're <laughs> Last questions. Um, yeah, that's a meal per 10 or a meal per 15, depending on. Uh, How likely is she to. Prolapse again? Yes. Yeah. Well, after that's going to scar down, probably yeah. unlikely, but it is heritable. She's an old cow, so Cam will probably um, send her to the happy hunting ground once she... Because you can't send her looking like that, so no. she'll probably end up happy hunting ground. She may have another cat. We'll see. What do you reckon, brother? Still, still run for calving, will it? Still, uh, well, they, they get scarred down after that, so that likely her product is pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably less likely to fall pregnant just because of the, yeah. the trauma and stuff. The bull will be like, whoa, this is some funky stuff. <laughs> Lacerations? Yeah. Uh, I've done that once on a needle one, but um, the, the vagina is actually pretty. You know those ones that have the fissure where it's recto vaginal fissure? You think, wow, yeah. oh, how horrible is that? But the vagina is kind of designed to get tears and rips in it. It's, it's part of the part of the part and parcel for like a liver cow. Yeah. Yeah, just, like if, you, if you see a cow and you're wondering if she has calves, you know, like when you go in and help it, and suddenly you can just part the bowl and there's all sorts of bruises and little cuts and stuff in there. Yeah. It's a tough kid giving birth to these ladies. Yeah. I did know. My wife had four. I was there. They let me catch. They let me catch a couple of them, which was pretty cool. Because the local docks are nice, and they let yeah. me catch them. But that was freaking cool. That was really cool. Yeah. And one more question. Uh, we just... How do you assess if like the tissue is viable to put it back in or not? Do you usually just put it back uh, in and the, see how it goes? For the most part, if it's friable, like if it's falling apart. I've had ones where it's just completely buggered, it's stiff or it's fly blown yeah. and stuff. Because suddenly when they're out in the paddock, you know, you don't see them. For a while, then, yeah. yeah. sometimes. And, uh, but so then what I've done is I, they can't put it back because it's so hard. Yeah. And so what I do is I just check them down and resect them. So I'll just amputate bits yeah. of it. Um, some guys use a, a band or a calcrate bander to amputate them. And they're big extra long loops like a calcrate bander. Yeah. And you put it around all that mess. And, it, and if, as long as the bladder's not trapped in there, because sometimes the bladder's sitting in it, as long as the bladder's not trapped in there, that'll all just heal back to itself. Oh, cool. And then she obviously won't get pregnant, but, but it's, it's a salvage procedure. Yeah, I've never done that, but I've amputated a couple where I just dissect down and then find the find the internal layer and then just stitch it back to itself and just keep working around, kind of like, yeah. a, like, a, like, a, like a record product. Yeah, I've seen the band, they're really cool. Big, big long band. Yeah. Have you seen them used? Yeah. On a vaginal product, too. Yeah. yeah. I use I it for all sorts of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Any final comments? Nothing? She, she goes, man, you. there's nothing for me to chew on. You're going to have to eat in a minute. It's your real tough farm dog. <laughs> <laughs> this dog is seriously rad. Right, uh. <laughs>
That am I. Great Curiosity stuff. grit. <laughs> well, we'll put that up on YouTube. Let's see what people reckon. Let's see what they're reckon. Bye. Rinking.